Hey friend, finally back with a celebrity look and today we got Miss JC. So yeah, when I saw this picture, I was like, oh, she is giving. It is very much giving. Very sultry in six. I was like, oh, I gotta, gotta recreate that. But yeah, so her hair kind of covers her eyes, but I'm thinking it's like, like a really sharp cut, pointed cut crease. So I'm gonna try to recreate this. And I know you want to see me do it. So duh, friends, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so the only thing I did off camera was add my concealer and I put some uh, foundation powder because her brow bone in the picture was lighter and I'm not sure if she added a shadow there or it's just like her skin tone. I'm not too sure. Not too sure? Not too sure. And I don't know if she for real had an actual eyeshadow in the crease or it's just black. I'm just going to add a little bit of brown. So I'm going to use Cameroon from, what palette is this? The Afrique palette from Juvie's Place. I'm just going to put that all over uh, my crease area. So up here and back. I'm not going to curve it down or anything because we're going to be cutting this because of the, uh, not cutting it, but putting it, putting it, there. just watch. I don't know what I'm saying. Just watch, child. Just watch. Just watch. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Yeah, I'm just using a fluffy brush. This does not have to be super neat on the bottom, but at the top, you want it to be blended. And keep that brow bone free from anything because, like I said, in the picture, it didn't look like she had anything on her brow bone. So just like that, make sure you hold in your brush at the end so you can get a really light blend. You don't want to put too much pressure because adding too much pressure will move your eyeshadow and primer and all that around. We don't want that. We just want a nice blend. We want it to stay put, but we still want it to blend. See? It's like that. Hold on. I'll be back because it is taking too long. I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, like I said in the beginning, her hair was kind of covering her eyes. I don't believe we have the same eye shape so to see like the angle of the black cut crease sharp line part was kind of hard so this is what i came with so i just used um vinyl this matte black my favorite matte black this is from the uh <clears throat> blue bunny search palette I absolutely love this palette and just made this open kind of cut crease i don't i don't know i just kind of winged it i made it straight because like i don't think in the picture it wasn't it didn't look too swoop so it kind of goes straight and then bring this all the way down to the lash line because we're going to connect this obviously when we get to that point and then obviously connect it to a point and, uh, and we're going to cut all of this in here. So add as much black as you need to because we're going to cut away but make sure the top of this is blended but not too much because we do want that line to stand out because in the picture it kind of was standing out but also slightly blended. I don't know y'all just just do what I just 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 do what I'm doing. Okay, don't ask no questions, all right? Please, because I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, disconnect these two. And then, I bet. Oh, this looks a mess. I mean, it's going to work out. Okay, so for the lid, obviously I cut my crease and I added um, Urban Decay's um, eyeshadow primer potion because it works really well with uh, shimmers. So for her lid, it was kind of hard to see because like, I feel like the entire lid is shimmer, but like I think they lined her lash line with like a pink shimmery like eyeliner. I'm not gonna do that because I have very hooded eyes and it'll be like no point. So I'm gonna have to like you know make it a do what it do, baby. So I'm gonna use Balanced from the 1111 palette from ColourPop, and I'm gonna put that all over. And then I'm gonna try to add some pink in there somehow, some way. But her lid was kind of like a champagne-y, pinky color. So I'm going to put that all over. And I'm going to use Electric Pink from the Paint Pro Palette from Glam Light. I feel like nobody uses these palettes anymore from Glam Light. But baby, let me tell you something. I'm going to use them. Because the shimmers go crazy. Glam Light shimmers, they are truly unmatched. But yeah, I'm going to put that all over, and then I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put the pink. Because I want to add the pink because she had the pink. I'm going to put the pink. i got to put the pink. Okay, so when her eyes are open, obviously, in the picture, you see the pink. So I'm going to try to add the pink, like, right in this area. So when I open my eyes, when, when, I open my eyes, when my eyes are open and taking pictures and all that, you can still see the pink. And I'm just going to take it back along my lid and kind of just like ombre it up. But I still want to be able to see it when I open my eyes. So kind of like that. So 
and I'm going to take it up a little bit higher because like I said, I have hooded eyes and yeah, I shall get lost. <laughs> Eyeliner gets lost. So you got to take it up a little bit higher. Make sure I get down this corner really well and then go back in with my other brush. Yeah. Oh, see, you can still see the pink. Okay, pretty. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, you know, do a little bit more to it and I'll come back and do something else. What else? I don't know, but I'm going to come back. <laughs> and you should do. You going somewhere? That's rude, friend. That's really rude. Mm. Okay, friend. She's done. You want to give me a little close up? There's the eye. So, obviously, I extended the black um, eyeshadow underneath. This is one reason why I don't like doing black eyeshadow on my... Um, bottom lash line because it always finds its way down here and it transfers no matter what type of base I use concealer eyeshadow primer um gel eyeliner whatever it just always ends up like this it's annoying but yeah mm -hmm. and then obviously I extended the the shimmer pink and the like champagne -y pink in the inner corner just like how she had in the video in the picture. What is that video for? But yeah, don't come for my wig. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But yeah, friend. How's that do? I don't even need you to tell me. I know it's another same period. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm pretty over there too. The ones that follow me over there already know I'm pretty over there too. So anyways, love you friend. For primer, I'm using the Milk Hydro Primer. So I noticed like in the picture, her base is really matte and... The blush is doing more of the contouring than like actual contour. So we're going to go blush heavy. Not too, 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 too much. But like, we're going to make sure it's seen. You feel me? And I know, like I just said, her face is really matte. But you know me. I'm a shimmer girl. <laughs> I need some highlight on my face. I'm going to put a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy like I normally do. But I got to put something, friend. Like, come on now. I know this is JT. But I got to make it me. You know? I'm going to rub this in. Make sure you rub your primer in, friend, like a skincare. We got to, you know, help it so it can do what it needs to do. All right, I'll be back. And you already know what foundation I'm going to use. Don't even play, friend. Don't even so I just realized I probably should have used a matte primer. <laughs> Oopsies. But, yeah, these are the three that I uh, rotate. So if you actually want to do a full, full matte phase, these are the ones that I rotate. This is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. We all know her. She's that girl. This is the e.l.f. Matte Oil Control Primer. Now, I don't know if they make these. I got this from some. Can you see? I got this from somebody. So, I don't know if they still make this. If they do, cool. If they don't, my bad friend. And then, this is the Sheer Envy Matte Serum Primer from Hard Candy. You would think that this is not going to give you a matte base. But, it actually does. You just got to work it in and let it do what it needs to do. But, yeah. My bad friend. I should have used a matte primer for this matte. But, anyways, moving on to foundation. Y'all already should know. Maybellisha. For the foundation in 33, I always say this wrong. It's 330 toffee caramel. I just should I should just say toffee caramel because every time I try to say 333, I always mess up. But yeah, toffee caramel. Just working it in, and please work it down to your neck or as far down as you can. Okay, I know some people's necks are darker than their faces. Just try to work it down as far as possible. You know, ombre, Libby baby, ombre, ombre. Cause we're not trying to out here, you know, look like the mask. You know, Jim Carrey with the green mask. Yeah, we're not trying to look like him. Okay. So just work it down as far as possible, baby. Okay. Hey. And let your foundation sit. If you want, um, like, a really matte face, high coverage, let your foundation sit after you blend it out. Let it dry down. Or let it dry down a little bit and then spread it out. Or spread it out and then let it dry down. Either way, let it dry down a little bit. It helps with the coverage and for the matte And obviously use a matte foundation. Which, that's what I'm using. The matte and poreless. So, I forgot this. Child, y'all know my videos are all over the place again. Concealer, Urban Decay, Stay Quickie. Stay quick. What? Stay Nikki. Stay Nikki. Ruh, ruh, I like a dungeon jack. Sorry. No, Stay Naked Quickie. Is that what I said the first time? That's not what I said the first time. If I did, cool. If not, child. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, it's going to take it along here to make sure I get a super... Sharp edge like that, and remember, remember, remember what y'all already know what I'm gonna say. If you don't like how much concealer I put on my face, baby, that's a you problem, and I'm not gonna make it a me problem. 
Okay? Okay. But, yeah, I'm going to apply this and come back. And I'm only going to do blush, cream blush. Because, like I said, I don't know if I said in the beginning, her face is more, like, blush heavy than, like, contour bronzer. I said that, right? Yeah, I said that. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. I did say that. Y'all know my memories of goldfish. <laughs> For my cream blush, I'm going to be using this matte lipstick from Nika K., in the color mauve pink this is like my go-to when i want a pink base for my blush because her blush isn't like super like bubblegum barbie pink it's more on the mauve side and like i said we're gonna go pretty heavy with this because her face just looks more blush heavy than like contour and bronzer and all that and look how beautiful that blends out oh absolutely love this color love this lipstick this lipstick is the reason why i'm actually using pink blush more often because i'm not a pink blush girly no ma'am i like orange mm -hmm. but i absolutely love it it works best if you like warm it up on the back of your hand first but you gotta do what it do right now but yeah, once I'm done putting it on, like the blush, I'm going to go back and blend my concealer. Because I like my concealer to be on top of my blush. If that makes sense. It does make sense in my brain. It should make sense in your brain. It should definitely make sense to you. <laughs> Especially if you're watching me. Does anything make sense? Absolutely not. My videos are very unhinged. So, <laughs> you're welcome for that. So, I did bronze my face because, duh. <laughs> I'm a bronzer girl. So, yeah, I did use the Mega Revolution Mega Bronzer in 02 Warm. Had to do that. Come on now. <laughs> Had to contour a little bit. Bronze a little bit. Well, not contour. Bronze. We're just doing bronzer. Now we're going on to blush. I'm using, what is this called? Pink Crush from Nika K. I'm using this one right here. And we're going to go heavy. So if you're not like blush, this is not the tutorial for ya. Okay, I don't know what that was. I don't know what accent I was trying to do. Uh, please don't. Please don't, don't do me, don't do me. But yeah. And make sure you bring it back as well. Like you're bringing it up. Like draping our blush a little bit. I know draping is like going all the way into the eye, but like, just bring it up. And her blush was like, really like on the apples of her cheek. So like when you smile, it's like right there. But just kind of be careful with that. Because I can glean more clown and... I mean, let's not, but yeah, just make sure you are using a fluffy brush and are really blending it out. But definitely bring it forward though. And if you feel like you brought it too forward, you can just take your um, powder foundation and just go right on top and it'll help soften it out like ombre. But yeah, we're going, like I said, we're going heavy. Okay, heavy. Okay. Bring it right on up to them temples, basically. But wait, no, the temple is here. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, just bring it up. Just bring it up, okay? And then I'm going to take my, whatever's left of my bronzer brush. And just make sure I have a nice ombre. And yeah. I'm going to keep working this out and blending it, softening it. And I'm going to come back and do something else. I don't know what else, but I'm going to do something else, okay? <laughs> okay, friend. Don't mind the wig. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it, but we're not here for that. So here's the phase done. With no shimmer on it, just obviously some there because I have to. And she had it in the picture too. But yeah, you can stop here with no shimmer, no highlight or nothing. A full matte face like in the picture, but you know I had to double eat. <laughs> okay, and here's the face with some shimmer. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we got the Neapolitan ice cream thing going on, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> mm. Did I eat or did I devour? I think I did both. But yeah, <laughs> my bad. But anyways, yeah, make sure you watch the first part where I did the eye makeup. And yeah, friend, follow me on Instagram. Duh, because I'm pretty over there too, period. But you knew that. <laughs> and if you don't, well, now you know. Anyways, love you.